the Asian gas industry continues to face challenges from competitors like coal and renewables. So how the industry develops so is very much a function of how it will compare, how a gas will compare against coal and other alternatives, as well as whether the industry and governments are prepared to continue to invest in infrastructure. I think it's going to be interesting times um, with a large quantity of LNG that's being where the projects are being built right now. They're going to be coming online in the next few years. They have substantial quantities, and mostly from Australia, but some from the US as well, uh, and some from other places, that are going to be these, these cargoes, their home is in Asia. They have Asian buyers, and they're targeted for Asian markets. And some of those will be replacing quantities that have fallen off from older contracts, where the contracts have naturally lived the life of the contract. But some of them are brand new to the market, and you're going to see a liquidity which has never existed. And I think it will test the Asian market, test the depth of the consumer, uh, test whether some of those volumes will be pushed into the Atlantic, or whether they'll open new markets, or whether the consumption levels will actually increase in uh, markets like China, such that they'll be able to absorb all of those volumes. But I think we're going to see how deep the Asian LNG market is besides the traditional players, Japan and Korea. I think we understand that market fairly well. I think the rest of Asia will become apparent how much gas it's willing to take, how deep the market is, how much it can be grown. So I think these are very interesting times. Well, I think it's interesting because there's been a trend over time to make projects bigger and bigger and bigger slowly. And now I think the, co it's starting, the cone is starting to spread out that the largest projects aren't the norm anymore. It's really finding the right size project with the right technology for the specific region. This folds back into why FLNG can be an answer for smaller fields that are stranded in certain locations, larger fields with the mega uh, LNG projects that we're familiar with. Um, those, those sorts of trends are gonna say that one size does not fit all. Again, folding back to the project development process, find out the reason why you're designing the project the way you 